I enjoyed it. I mean, it was a real, it's, you know, there's, I, I, each team that I stopped with, I have different memories, but I think when I first was traded to Hartford, number one, I think it was a shock, you know, to get traded, you know, your first time being traded. Um, my mindset coming into the team was, you know, I wanted, you know, I was, I guess, you know, my feelings were a little bit hurt that, you know, I, I had been traded and I wanted to, you know, make a mark. And, uh, and coming to a new bunch of guys is always a difficult thing. And, and I, I think the great thing about uh, the team that we had here was, you know, any guys that came in, they really welcomed them and made them part of the team. And I think the guys um, did a great job. It made me feel part of the team right away. And, and then, you know, most of my family, uh, all my kids, most of them grew up here. And it was just a, a fantastic place for um, to live and, and to bring up a family. And I, those are the memories that I cherish and, and uh, enjoy the most. Well, I think we had, uh, we had uh, a team that was kind of built of uh, intensity, grit, and, and skill. And, um, you know, you could talk, you know, the Ron Francis is, you know, the, the um, you know, Kevin Deneens and, and, you know, and then you talk about grit and, you know, uh, you know, Dean Evans and Alf Samuelson, you know, uh, those types of players that kind of epitomized, you know, our group is, you know, each and every night that would step on the ice. It was going to be, if you beat us, it was going to take your best effort to beat us. And that was, that was, you know, when you stepped on the ice, we knew we had a chance to win, but it, uh, you knew the guys were going to go to battle to, to, to win that night. Well, I, I think it was, uh, I think the fans were uh, very enthusiastic. It was great. When our rink was full, it was a great, it was a great barn to play in. And, uh, um, you know, and, and being a player, I mean, now that I'm out of the game, you really appreciate those moments and those, um, uh, that feeling because you just don't, you just don't have that anymore. And when you step on, and when you used to step on the ice or you used to, um, you know, do something well on the ice and, and the, you know, the fans and, you know, appreciated it. You know, that was a great feeling. And, and, and the, you know, just the way they, when they cheered during the game is, is something that gave you adrenaline. It was kind of a rush that it's, it's hard to explain unless you, you are a player and you're, you know, in that situation. <laughs> you know, it's kind of a, my son, uh, it's kind of a catchy tune. I, I think that, uh, you know, when you're an opposing team and I've seen it, you know, it's kind of, well, okay. And then you be, it, it kind of, it, you know, it's like that song that uh, you hear over and over again and, and you go, you know, I'm not really crazy about that song. And then all of a sudden you start humming it and you're humming it and humming it. And now it's a favorite song of yours. That's, that's the way they explain Brass Bonanza, you know, to, to people. And, uh, and it's, I mean, it's a unique thing, and I know when when I hear it now, when I go when I scout minor league game, the people, it's 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 part of their tradition. It's part of them, and it's it's uh, something that's ingrained in them, and and uh, and they love it. And you know, as as a as a player, that was that was a pretty cool thing to uh, to witness.